This is a quick video on two tick harpooning. To get started you'll need a harpoon, a bow with no ammo and with auto retaliate on, and runes for a low level curse spell such as body, water, and earth. I recommend getting left click dropper plugin off RuneLight's plugin hub. It allows you to easily drop certain items without holding shift. To get there you'll need to head to Port Pisk. In the Greater Karend, the fastest way is with the Book of the Dead or the Cardus Memoirs and use Teleport to the Fisher's Flute option. To start off, we're going to run over to the fishing area and look for some rats. I find it easiest to highlight them. We're going to use one of our low-level curse spells to aggro the rats. Now this is a multi-combat area, but some of the areas are actually single combat and it can be a pain in the ass to get the rats. Sometimes you just have to wait for uh, one of them to come around or find another rat in the area. After you have both of them, I find it best to walk over to the destination that you're going to be harpooning at. Uh, running can cause them to de-aggro and make you have to re-aggro them. Now this is the hardest part about setting this method up, is getting the rats to attack you on two separate ticks. Now what exactly do I mean by that? What I mean by two separate ticks is I don't want the rats attacking you at the exact same time like you see in this freeze frame here. This won't work for the method. What you need is each rat to hit you, the zero hit splat to disappear, and then another zero hit splat to hit you afterwards. This is exactly what you want to see. One hit splat, and then another. One hit splat, and then another, not at the same time. You can actually spend a fair bit of time fucking around until you can finally get it, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. The easiest way I found is to line the two rats up one by one, and then on the same tick that a rat attacks you, walk under it. So here we go, we're gonna line them both up so that they're in a perfect line, and as soon as it attacks you, you walk right underneath it. Now it doesn't work every single time, but most of the time it will. So let's do it again. So we're going to line them up, both in a row, walk under as soon as one attacks you, and then boom, sometimes you get in a cycle if you're lucky. Now every time a rat hits you, you're going to want to click the harpoon spot. See how my character turns? As soon as I get hit, that's when you want to click. I've seen a lot of people say you have to do an empty action such as fletch or click an empty spot, but that's not true as the rats do it for you. And for whatever reason, if you get stuck in the fishing animation and your character is not turning, if you drop a fish or click underneath you to cancel it and wait for your character to turn again and then click the spot, you'll get back into cycle. Now let's talk about resetting as soon as the spot moves. This is probably one of the more annoying parts if you don't know what you're doing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna walk diagonal. And the reason for that is because we want the rats to stay attacking you in the same cycle. So we're gonna move left here so they keep attacking you, left again so they keep attacking you. And instead of walking to the spot, we're gonna move left one more time and then we're gonna move diagonal so they still keep attacking you. And then go ahead and get back to fishing. That's it everybody, good luck and get those gains.